Hey, welcome back. This is Nikki Terry Style. We have been thrifting it up in Southern Virginia, which is one of my favorite places to thrift. The stores are incredible for pricing and vintage gems. And today we're going to a new to us Goodwill. It's the Hollands location in Roanoke. And it is, and let's see, how can I segue into this? This Goodwill is not the only thing new on this channel. You may have recently noticed my newest and the most wonderful accessory I could possibly own, my engagement ring. I just couldn't be more thrilled. He's a wonderful man, I'm very lucky, and if you care, I thought I would confirm if you had noticed that I've been wearing my engagement ring. And because of the timing of some of my videos and how I batch my filming, like it may have popped up already or maybe this might be the first time we see it, but in any case, if you care, I thought I would share. Some of you ask about things like that, so thank you for letting me share my excitement. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this Goodwill is awesome. It was packed in there, and we spent some time going through every section of the store. I thought there were a lot of cool gems to see, so I'm gonna show you everything, and then we'll come back here and do a haul and a styling of the pieces I actually brought home. So let's go thrifting. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna start in the men's section. I kind of like loving the idea of uh, men's button-ups worn either like tied up and oversized and tied up at the bottom or just wearing them open over a tank top for the summer. I love how easy it is to shop the men's section when it's just like all long sleeve button downs and then you just look for the patterns and colors that you like. <laughs> it's just super easy to shop at a glance. There's a cute vintage 90s one. And a couple of vintage high-waisted denim shorts that I'm kind of excited about. I think they've got all the men's and women's shorts mixed together, but if you're looking for shorts for the summer, don't forget to check the men's section, even as a woman, because you can find some that are like a high-waisted Bermuda style, which is really on trend right now. So don't sleep on the men's section for shorts. And just for a couple more tips, um, if you're not sure where to start, you know, measure your waist and start looking in your waist size and maybe two inches higher. Also, look for pleats on the front. I think that gives a really nice silhouette if you're doing a high-waisted look. You know, it'll define your waist and your hips a bit better and look like it, it fits you really nicely. I have been looking out for printed shorts. I really like this pair and I'm gonna give them a measure on the waist to see if they'll actually fit me. Cute even with my Harley tee that I'm wearing today. These are cute little comfy cotton shorts, which I love, but I think they'd be too small for me to be like not comfy. <laughs> oh, you know what it is.
Okay, the skirt section is absolute fire today. I pulled so many pieces. I'm actually gonna show you. I hung them up on an empty rack to show you each one because it's just so many awesome ones. All of this. They had a big plus size section and this is 3X latex skirt and I just thought that was such a cool find, especially in a plus size. This is a little houndstooth skater skirt. Would be so cute for fall with tights and boots, but I might pass today because uh, not so much a seasonal thing. This one I think is so adorable. This is a big possibility for me. This is just a plain like fuchsia skirt, but the color's fantastic and we've got pockets. This patchwork number is so cute. This one I really love, skirts like this. Super lightweight and just a fun pattern. Easy to dress up like a t-shirt. But I think I like this one better because it's got more neutral colors in it. These ones, I had to show you these black and white pattern longer skirts because I have a couple like this and I've been wearing them so much. Definitely pick something like this up if you like wearing skirts because this is so fun and easy to style. This one is like a white tennis skirt style but it's a little bit longer so I thought that could be really fun although I, I do kind of wish it was shorter and it's got pockets. Just a cute flowy pastel skirt. It looks a little bit Y2K. You can picture it with some like platform sandals. So I am keeping about a third of those as a maybe right now. <laughs> yeah, I told you the skirt section is so good today. Look what I just found. It's got this saddle on it, Western style. It's so cool. And I know for a fact, one of my friends on here, you are going to like die when you see this. <laughs> Shout out to you, Joe. Okay, I told you I was gonna go through the whole store, so I am looking at jackets, even though it's so hot even in here, but this is a good time of year to thrift jackets and coats if they put them out because this election is going to be less picked over. This is a time when people might go through and get rid of stuff that they didn't wear last year, so the donations might be high. Anyway, let's take a look at a few of the jackets I'm finding. This is such a cute, I think, I think it's like an 80s possibly. It could even be contemporary, but anyway, it looks like a 60s, like Jackie O style little pink jacket. Super cute. I think this piece is so gorgeous. It is really not my style because it definitely looks like very boho, but like it is so beautiful with this soft velvet and satin combo and the colors. Kind of a sucker for these like tapestry style jackets too. I think this jacket is really cool because I'm into this lime green, like many of us love this color right now, and the fact that it looks like it's like a checkered pattern and it has the like popcorn like crinkle cut. It's just, it's a lot of like different trends mixed together. So it could be really cool. I might pull it on and try it. It's got no pockets, which is kind of a bummer. They have a large selection of capris here. I know those are coming back in style for some people. They're into it. What do you guys think? Are you ready for capris to come back? I don't think I'm ready yet. Their shoes are only $4 and the boots are five, which I think is amazing. I wonder if you guys are ever frustrated with me because I really don't like to shop the shoes unless it's like a specific style or um, if I make a sp special trip just to shop for shoes. Otherwise, I kind of just glance at them. So I don't show shoes too, too much on this channel, I don't think. So let me know if you need to see more shoes. I'll make more, a better effort, but I'm a little bit lazy about it. <laughs> Okay, I still have this whole section of the store to go through. There's all the tops and dresses, which are my faves. So we have a lot more to see here. Look at the cute oh, wow. daisies. Look at this 
sweet little vintage sweater. wonder if CK stuff is gonna make a comeback like all oh, the 90s stuff has come back this is like the very cool CK ads in the 90s Some more tops we found. Love this lavender color and the collar. And it is half off. This cool little 90s polo. This amazing vintage sweatshirt with the cat. There's like an actual bow here. This amazing sparkly number. Like, I'm not even sure what the imagery is here, but wow. It's half off also, so it's only two bucks. This cute little cardigan from Talbot's. It would be like so fun to wear with like some capris or crop jeans on the beach. This little mint vintage sweater has like a nice silhouette to it. Another cute little beachy tee. Dolly. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a set. A little skirt. I think that's super cute. Okay, let's look at these dresses. They are $4.99. Okay, check this out. Pants. Okay, let me show you what else I found in the dresses. It's that like second skin style. And it has um, a slip dress underneath it. This would look amazing on somebody like who wanted a really fitted look. Look at this vintage Avon dress. It's a terry cloth. I don't know if it's meant to be like a house coat. It looks kind of like it because of the pockets and everything, but the neon, guess what it is? A half off tag. How cute would this be if it was a short, like above the knee length mini dress? Like if you could crop that. I also put this one in my cart. This is interesting. This is a thick like tapestry brocade kind of situation with a metallic thread. It is still, like still has the new tags on it. I don't know if this is meant to be worn as a dress because of the closures, like it looks like there's gaps. I don't know if you wear it as a dress with um, a lining under or if it's meant to be worn as like a long vest kind of. Ooh, pockets. But yeah, this is only five bucks. So, kind of interested in it. Okay, we've seen everything. Cart check. Yeah, I am not getting all of this, so we gotta sort through it all. This one has some stains, so no. This set with docks could be so cute.
I found a couple of these men's sweater vests I thought would be so cool, but I think I'm gonna leave them. Same with these cute little women's vests. I think I'm gonna leave as well. to tell how stuff really looks because I have to squat down for this mirror. <laughs> but I think this one's just not as cute on as it is on the hanger for me. Okay, we're all finished. This is an awesome Goodwill. I found so many cool pieces, but I'm only taking a few things home with me. So let's get home and I'll give you a little try on haul for those pieces. Okay, it's time for the haul from this Goodwill. It was my first time thrifting there. I have to say I was super impressed with the store. It was so fun to dig through every section and really just take my time and see what that store had to offer. It kind of means that my finds were like a little all over the place, I think, because I didn't have a specific goal in mind of what I was looking for. There's just some things that I always like to see. And basically I wanna see how much vintage a store has. So I didn't bring home too much, but I'll show you everything. And I'll also show you some styling of how I might be wearing these pieces. I got this little white Alfred Denner knit, uh, maybe an 80s piece. A short sleeve knit like this is just kind of a basic item for me. I can style it with so much, but also it's one of those things that's easy to throw on when you don't wanna feel like you're too dressed up, I guess. It's a good basic item. But I do like how this one has the pattern knit into it. Sorry for my weird lighting. It's the only way I can really show you. So yeah, just a cute basic. I'll probably just kind of wear with jeans for the most part. I was so excited to find this daisy print skirt. You guys know I've been a sucker for any daisy prints lately, especially kind of this little ditzy floral I think looks so 90s in a really fun way to style with like Doc Martin boots and like, you know, a skirt I'll always throw on with like pretty much anything like a graphic tee, a sweatshirt, a blouse if I wanna dress it up a little bit. So I like that this one too is a little bit shorter than a lot of the other skirts I've been finding lately. So it's just a great length. Um, if it had pockets, it would be every Thing, but I still think I'll get a ton of wear out of this piece. All right, on my daisy kick, this embroidered daisy cardigan. This thing just slays me, it's so cute. I do wish it was a shorter, more cropped fit. That's just what I prefer to wear, but I also don't wanna alter this piece in any way, so I'm just gonna have to figure out the styling that I like with this longer fit. I decided to snag the like golden yellow sweatshirt. I know it's getting a little bit washed out on camera, but this is like a warm golden yellow color. You may have noticed I've been collecting these vintage sweatshirts. I've got in my mind some DIY projects of doing either embroidery or some with like iron on letters over it. I think like a red iron on letter on top of this would look really, really cool. So yeah, I've thrifted a couple of plain vintage sweatshirts lately and thinking about how I might want to use them. I got that bright fuchsia skirt. This one has pockets. It has a full elastic waistband. So just something actually really comfortable and wearable. And I actually, now that I'm seeing these together, I think this could be some really cool color blocking together in an outfit. The tag reminds me of those 90s like cups. You know what I'm talking about. All right, surprise. I grabbed another vintage sweatshirt. <laughs> I thought this was cute. It's kind of funny. It's kind of going to be worn ironically for me. I don't know. <laughs> what I mean is it's not the typical kind of thing that I would wear and think that it was like genuinely hilarious. It's just such a silly kind of weak joke that these birds have a bad hair day that it makes it like that much funnier to me. The irony, you get it. <laughs> it's corny, it's funny, it's cute, it's a look. The last thing I have to show you is a clip-on tie. I did thrift a green clip-on tie that you saw in store. I did bring that home, but it's gonna show up in another video and you'll see why when the time comes. I've got some like really amazing things in the works. <laughs> anyway, I also got this vintage Montgomery Ward like polyester paisley kind of print tie. I've seen Beth from B. Jones Style. Recently on her channel, she has styled up a couple of like small, short like clip-on ties like this. 
over printed blouses and I really wanted to try that style so I decided to grab a couple and and the thrift store of course is like the perfect way to experiment with new styles like that because you can grab something interesting for cheap and reuse something that's already out there so yeah, let me know what you think about styling outfits with a clip-on tie, if that's like kind of an upcoming trend, if it's something you wanna try. What do you guys think? Thank you for thrifting with me at this Goodwill. I feel like that's probably my new favorite location in Southern Virginia. I absolutely loved that store. So we will go back there again in the future for sure. And of course, I've got more thrifting content coming at you, new videos every Sunday. So please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys again next week for a new video. Let me just, hmm, hmm, <laughs> love it so much. I'm wearing all of the color on that clothing rack and everything else is neutral, bam. We have been having a blast, no. I do wish this one was a little bit more oversized. I think that would be a really fun way to wear it, but, um, but yeah, it, it is still just kind of a fun, I do wish this one was a little bit more oversized. I think that would look really good. It was. Cicada just jumped on the window. All right, on my daisy kick. Oh, you can't even see. I'm just not. I'm not gonna say that part. It's dumb. And turn on notifications if you're not. If you haven't already. I don't know where to back up to because I was like on a roll. I'm just gonna redo the whole ending. So we've got more th thrifting. Con I have a massive headache coming on. This sucks. I'm like, I just want to finish. <sighs> Boom. This is just kind of a good basic item for me. Gosh, my lighting sucks. Is that better? Yes. Shit. I guess I should refilm the first part. Ugh, scrap all of that. <laughs> I don't know what my hair is doing. Uh. Okay, this is the haul from the Highland Hollands. Haul from the Hollands, Goodwill. Bam, color blocking. This is like QVC, like shopping channel. <laughs> Gosh, why can't I get this? Okay, let me just start over. Hello, good morning, happy Sunday. Good morning. We are still in Southern Virginia, a uh, very beautiful. <clears throat> good morning, good morning. <laughs> this is gonna be so annoying to edit. <laughs> so let's go thrifting. And my haul is really good. It's really pretty good. <laughs>